What we try to do with our report is to dispassionate, level down the, the pressure on, on, on this subject, and essentially ask both regulators and institutional investors to focus on three main problems. If you start from the ground up, it's about ensuring safety of your assets as a client, right? Custody, safekeeping, segregation, ring fencing. This is an absolute must. You cannot have any doubt that your client money are separated from that of your firm money in case one goes bust, for example. The next problem will be one of general fiduciary duty. At the moment, is it okay for a institution in the situation of being a fiduciary to propose an investment if you cannot justify of the return expectations or the risk expectations? And finally, it's a question of valuation. We are struggling right now to understand the difference between market price of crypto and any form of intrinsic value. Sure, but Olivier, Olivier good morning to you. You can't regulate stupid. And, I, and I'm sorry, mm. th this desk has tried very, very hard over the last four or five years to understand a lot of those questions you were talking about, to understand where valuations come from, to understand um, what the business model is, to understand how you can possibly justify the extreme leverage which is being offered to crypto clients to leverage something which is stunningly volatile. And we've come away and with a lot of our very smart guests and a lot of those guests and us have turned around and said, we just don't understand this. And then the regulators have said, we don't understand those issues as well. Hence, we think the risk of your asset going to zero uh, is very, very high. We've heard this from many regulators and central banks as well. At the end of the day, you can't regulate stupid. And if people are thick enough to put their assets, their hard-earned money into something they don't understand, and they can't afford to lose that money. And then, then what do you do? You can't regulate for everyone who's going to do something stupid in this world. No, I agree with you. But you can regulate communication, financial promotions, and the general sense of not overhyping an investment you know may go, may go south. That was the, essentially the message that the Financial Conduct Authority gave uh, in the UK. But our role as CFA Institute and other institutional organizations observing the market is to clarify what is actually going on. Are those things real? Mm. What are the structural trends in the industry? There is a structural trend on the fin financial technology sure. side of the yeah. equation. Blockchain technology is perhaps transforming some processes. So there is a story there that you also don't want to conflate with the, um, the news flow involving let's say, um, improper conduct, for example. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so there are two parts to this, right? So you can't, you, I think if you have regulation, you know someone has their fingers in the, the piggy bank. That, you, that gets revealed a little bit early on because you can see where the cash is if there's quarterly reporting, right? The other leg here, and this is one that continues on, the solvency and liquidity of other major lenders now because of the collapse of FTX, other major players in the industry. And it does seem to me that without any backstop now, there are constant questions that there's no one underwriting the sector that if there is a, a run on the assets of one firm, it can go all the way into bankruptcy. Does regulation in 2023 come into the mix and stop that liquidity crunch and bankruptcy issue? What the EU has tried to do by striking first uh, with its markets in crypto assets regulation is to send a very clear message. We think a lot, a, a big portion of that industry needs to be properly regulated for the reasons that we've just discussed. The issue is the US isn't there yet. So again, you're gonna have a diverging set of regulations. But clients need <clears throat> to do their homework. They need to do their due diligence, especially if you're in a situation of fiduciary. It's not good enough an excuse to say, we didn't see it coming, it looked like a cool, nice investment. We took a bet. That is never going to be uh, a good enough excuse to invest or a rationale to give to your uh, clients. It's an agency problem. The agent grants the principal with the capacity to invest on their behalf. You need to have a good rationale, and hype is not a good rationale.